mete laburo y el sábado a la noche sos un doctor. Hola clase, habla profe. Hey, this is a quick video to help you understand how Kia works. Kia is a website that I use for lots of Spanish activities and quizzes. So you should have it right there on the screen. Let's go. First of all, it's pronounced Kia. And uh, like I said, it has online Spanish activities, homework and quizzes. I've even given final exams and chapter tests on Kia. So it's important that you learn how to use it. Uh, there's all kinds of activities. I'm not gonna go into all of these. You can see the list of different kinds of things there are on the website. But uh, you know, there's activities that'll reinforce and help your learning of Spanish. There's things like Battleship. Um, there is a challenge board where you can play against a friend or you're just one player. And um, there is a rags to riches that again reinforces uh, your learning. I've got lots of activities up there. Um, one of the things that's kind of cool about this is when we do a homework assignment or a quiz, it gives you students results. So it's immediate feedback. You will, you will get three things back whenever you submit something. Um, the, the what you got wrong or right, um, just the score or score with answers. So I have an option there. And we can also review questions individually as a class to help us get strong and wherever we might be weak. Okay, let's go through the steps. First thing, you will get an email from me to your new SMHS email with your login and password. So I've got my inbox here, practice inbox. It'll look like an email like this. Make sure it doesn't go to spam or something. It's your key account information. Okay, step two, read your email and follow the instructions. As you can see, it has options for you to change the randomly generated password. So in my case here, my username is gnader493. <clears throat> so you're gonna have your first uh, letter of your name and then your last name and then a number. And then you've got your randomly generated password. So next step is to make sure you write down that login and password somewhere so you can find it. And this is separate from your St. Mary's logins and other passwords, okay? So it's important that you have this. And then step four, after you log in, you should have a screen that looks like this. It's uh, our, your class page that you've been assigned to, your, your, your Spanish class. You notice with mine, I created a practice class um, where I'm the instructor and I'm also the student. And you have a class web page. So what I want you to do is go ahead and click that class web page. And once you're in the Kia class page, you'll see that I've assigned a practice pronunciation quiz. I've set it up for two attempts. So click on the link and use your Kia, your new Kia login and, and uh, password to just practice this quiz. I've set it up for two attempts and um, it'll just be something that, you, that I want you to practice with because next week we'll be getting into Kia quite a bit. So if you've successfully logged in and we're able to access the practice quiz, you're all set to go. Lo estás haciendo bien. Seguí adelante.